first of all, um, Byron, what kind of person is Stevie Sauce? <laughs> you can say anything. Don't tell him that. <laughs> He's a nice bunch of guys. Mm -hmm. Good answer. <laughs> anything else? Well, I think that sounds good <laughs> pretty much. Okay, Stevie, same question to you. Bernard? Mm -hmm. Very easy. <laughs> Gets along with no, I, everyone. No, it's true. Bernard is uh, is really like the kind of guy like he's always in the center of everything. Like when you go see him with the Rolling Stones, it's like they always everybody hangs around Bernard. He's really easy to be with. He's a lot and he's, he's pretty crazy, so he's a lot of fun. He's a good catalyst for me because I'm kind of like really extremely a live wire. Yeah. And so I can snap real easy. I'm pretty crazy, like, he's real mellow and he knows how to say yo. Chill me right out. So it's a good combination. Mm -hmm. And the album 12 Hips and a Bump has been released, um, well, had released last May, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And would that be the first and the last album, or are you guys oh. thinking of some? some new albums in the future? Yeah, I think we, you know, we'd like to keep recording more records. Mm -hmm. when we, we've already been talking about kind of the ways we want to try to do it. You know, ideas. Like maybe we're thinking the next one. Bernard's going to, um, he's going to shave his head bald and he's going to scream like a, like a monk from Tibet oh. while I uh, play uh, the ukulele. Oh. So there will be a album from the Eagle Band. Mm -hmm. sort of thought that, you know, not many people think that the rock and roll is better done by the white people mm -hmm. and also the, like, um, soul music is better than the, the black people rather than the white people in mean, that sort of thing. They've got blinders on. I mean, yeah, let's, let's face it. I mean, I'm one of those kind of people, and I'm, I'm, I'm neither black nor white, and, and I work with lots of black musicians and lots of white musicians and, you know, Indian musicians and whatever. But honest to God, let's face it, who invented the high five, you know, who invented the, any cool phrase that anybody says from a white person to black person, it all came from the street, and, and, uh, yeah. and rock and roll came from, from black R&B music, you know, it just until people started packaging it and saying it, you know, maybe some, maybe white people took their black R&B rock music and made it heavier in sections and things like that, but but that Basically has nothing to came do from one place. Yeah, it really, it's got nothing to do with, to me anymore with, with black or white. No, because there's a lot of there's a lot of white there's a lot of white singers coming up that if you close your eyes you wouldn't know that they were that they were white. And that's cool. If it's if it's working, that's good. I think each 
person should stay, hold on to their culture. If you're a Japanese musician and, and your culture grew up with this really beautiful Japanese music, if you can find a way to, to create that. into other elements of, of rock and roll or whatever, then to me that's cool. That's you know? cool. I'm way into, into uh, people keeping their cultures and, and interjecting that into things that are already moving and growing. Yo, this is Stevie Salas. And Bernard Fowler, and we're Nickel Bag. And for all you music lovers, stay tuned to Pop. Ten. Ten. Pop. Boom. ギターリスト、How was the um, audience reception? Audience, yeah. Always, as always, the audience never, never lets me down. Mm -hmm. Big crowd, small crowd, they go nuts. I think a, a lot of the fans said it during these concerts. They were all going, wow, I mean, this was so much heavier than, mm -hmm. than Color Code. And this, this is exactly. It's a much heavier in all directions, I think. It's much more. Uh, how's, uh, how's Stevie's uh, guitar playing? Killing. <laughs> Killing. Killing. Well done. My son. <laughs> Where'd you get the uh, rehearsal and recording done? Because you were pretty busy with the Rolling Stones tour. On my days off. Yeah. yeah. Days off. On my days, days off. He was doing Voodoo Lounge at the same time mm -hmm. I was doing Color Code. Mm -hmm. You know, doing the album. And then we would get together in cities, mm -hmm. wherever we could figure it out, and, and we would record. We recorded this album in Brooklyn, New York City, Connecticut, Mexico mm -hmm. City, LA. Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were all over the place. cover that we discussed doing, well, he, he asked me, uh, what covers do you like? Yeah. And then we, we wanted to put some covers on the album, and I, I said, uh, I always wanted to do this song, Win, by David Bowie. He bought, um, uh, I Don't Know Why I Love You. Stevie Wonder. Well, Stevie Wonder, Wonder too. I used to do that with Terrence Trent Darby all the time. Like, uh, in London, we'd be hanging out and uh, just goofing off in a jam room. And I mean, that song is an amazing song, I go, but I, I always wanted to record it, but there's no way I could ever sing it. And all of a sudden, we start doing this album. I'm like, no, please, you got to do this. And he's like, yeah. We, and, we, and as soon as we started playing that, like, at the Viper Room and stuff, it was just like people were just floored, so we knew we had to do that. Person, I mean, I grew up listening to like uh, Little Walter, J.B. Lenoir, The Temptations, Joe Tex, uh, The Beatles, of course. The first album that my dad ever bought for me was a Stones album. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the same as B, you know. Mm -hmm. The thing about Bernard and I, we're a lot alike in, in ways that the, we both have played with with so many different types of artists, you know, from R&B, funk, and rock. And, and quite a few of them, you know, just happen to be like legends, you know, Hall of Fame kind of musicians, you know, um, that we've got, been lucky enough to kind of play with. And, and it, I think that that's the reason we can play with all those different types of people is because we have a really wide range of things that we like. I just like music. I mean, I always dream, I remember being in ninth grade and hearing the groove line and dreaming, I didn't even play guitar then, and dreaming, uh-uh, oh, nah, -uh. and dreaming of being able to be in a band and go up and play ching, 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 and having all the girls dance, you know? Yeah. But I still, all but still, dance. Not, not all the, the people. Dance. All the girls dance. All the girls. Just the girls dance, right? We'll take a break for a while. I think we we'll go in the studio and we'll record one more song that we want to do for an American release. Mm -hmm. Then we start gearing up for the U.S. release of it. Meanwhile, while I'm recording Color Code, and he's mm -hmm. getting ready to go back with the Stones mm -hmm. on his oh, days off to, uh, to work the record in those territories. So we've got plenty of work still to do with this record. This, we're, yeah. we're, we won't be talking about actual. We're talking about. We won't be probably recording in New York about that. Uh -huh.
This is Stevie Salas. And Bernard Fowler of Nickel Bag. Boom. You're watching Tokyo Basara. Wow Wow TV. You know. Pow. Thank you. 